What's up guys, Super Guams here, and this is just another video, and in this video, I'm just going to be talking about, you know, an IRL event that happened, um, you know, sometimes I might be doing that videos, um, talking about, you know, many stories from my life and, you know, many events, so today I'm going to be talking about an event that happened when I was in kindergarten, kindergarten, okay, so, you guys all know what a haunted house rides are, right? So tell me how one day we was going on a trip, um, and it was a trip to some play, playland, play area with, you know, rides, and, um, so we approached this, you know, we're having a good day, I'm having fun on the rides, and then all of a sudden we approached this ride, and it's a freaking haunted house. It's, you know, a house, you know, we all know what it is with things that pop out at you. Okay, now, before I did not know any of this, um, so, like, I'm looking at the house, and I see all these things, and, you know, in front of the, in front of the house, you usually see, like, these animations, like, things moving, so, in front of the house, I see a bucket, right, and then there's a little green guy, and he's just throwing up inside the bucket, so I'm just like, um, okay, that, this, this shouldn't be that bad, you know, everything's, everything's under control. And then it was my group's turn to get on the ride, so I'm just, like, flipping out. So, you know, at this point, I'm strapped in, you know, I'm ready to go, and the ride starts going. And then in my head, I'm like, oh, God, there's no turning back, there's no getting off the ride. So now, you know, everyone's on, ride's going. And then we go into complete darkness. And there's like these, um, this creepy music just starts playing. And I get this like creepy smell. Like this, you know how like when you enter a haunted house ride or like any kind of ride that's inside. And like you're outside and it smells, you know, a certain way. And then you get on the ride and it smells like, just, it smells like, like kind of like paint. Something like paint. So, yeah. I'm on the ride, and I get the smell, and, um, I'm flipping out, and then the music just, it turns even more creepier, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, boom, this, this thing pops up, and he screams, and I'm just like, oh my god, I, I flipped out right there, that's the, that was the breaking point for me, that's when I started crying and tearing up, and, um, I was sitting right next to both the teachers, and, you know, I wanted to be in the middle. I didn't want to be on the sides because you know, if you're on the sides, it's a lot worse. So I'm on, I'm busy on the sides. One of the teachers is in the middle, so I'm just hanging on for dear life. Like, and I'm like, I don't care how hard I'm hanging on. Like, my life is on the freaking line here. So I'm just hanging on, hanging on, and um, my eyes are like closed because I, I was just like, it's like so you know, as the ride's going, um. I'm just freaking tearing up, crying, whining, acting like a baby. So, um, you know, from, you know, the ride ended at, like, this bathroom that kept flicker flickering the lights, and it was a checkerboard floor. I remember, I mean, chess, you know, the black and white floor tiles, it was just flickering lights. And I, at this point, I'm thinking that something's going to pop out the freaking bathroom stools, and nothing happened. And then that was a ride. Um, it was pretty short, very scary. And at that point forward, I was just like, I'm never going to get on any more haunted house rides ever in my life. So, you know, that's why I do not get on them as of this day. Never. Never again. Because they're just creepy. They're creepy. They just are. I mean, you could be, a, you could be a huge man, but at the end of the day, you can't say you can't, you're not getting scared of that. Like, they just pop, things popping up at you. So... Yeah, um, just a little story I felt like telling you guys, and this has been Super Guams, and I will be doing more videos like this, uh, explaining my life and stuff like that, and, you know, past events that you guys might want to know about, and let you guys get to know me a little bit more, and, yeah, that's all I want to say, and it's been Super Guams, and I'm out, peace.